Hi guys and girls on YouTube, welcome to my channel. So we've got this semi-commercial Samsung microwave oven and now the customers complain that when it shuts the door uh, it's actually making a loud noise um, and they've deemed it unsafe to use so that the customer's taken the fuse out of the plug. He's put this on the front but he says somebody will still use it even though it said do not use so he's taken the fuse out of the plug to disable it. Um, and he's brought it in uh, for me to take a look at. Now, you would have thought with all the safety circuits built into a microwave, um, there's not much that can go wrong. I mean, you've got uh, thermal cutouts, you've got about at least three switches uh, that prevent power getting to the transformer uh, in case of a problem. But one thing they don't protect against is if the power relay here uh, the contacts actually weld together now in the event of the contacts welding together as soon as you shut the door this transformer will be energized and the magnetron will be powered up uh, generating microwaves um, but because the rest of the circuitry is not running um, you won't have the fans are running so in the case of this particular oven um, I find that's what the problem is the power relay here the contacts are welded together it's permanently on uh, which means this transformer is energized as soon as you shut the door um, I'll, I'll give you a quick demonstration in a minute um, but when I look at my current meter what this is drawing it's only drawing about 3.4 amps which only means this transformer is running it doesn't mean uh, the magnetrons running uh, and the reason the magnetron is no longer running is because it's run that long uh, without any cooling fan it's actually destroyed it you can see there it's got that hot that all this plastic's melted um, this plastic um, air guide so that'll need to replace you can see it's all changed colour here I've no doubt that the magnets have cracked uh, and that'll be what's the problem with it but let's just stick a meter on that relay and just have a quick look right so that's it there we're measuring the two terminals on the power relay you can see we've got zero ohms doesn't matter whether the doors open or close that relay is welded together all right i'll just give you a quick demo we're not going to do any harm because the magnetron's already ruined i'll just power it up And if we look at the uh, meter here, we're drawing 3.7 amps. Now, if you look there, there is a thermal cutout to stop the magnetron overheating. Um, and usually, they place these on the magnetron itself. Um, but either way, it doesn't matter because it's not protected the magnetron. Um, that is completely shot. And another thing you've got to remember, if this is a self-resetting uh, thermal cutout, when it heats up it'll, it'll go open circuit and switch the power off. Um, as soon as this cools down uh, and this remakes, it'll reapply the power again. Uh, so this will be switching on and off, on and off, on and off, uh, all the time. Right, now I wasn't sure if that relay was available as a spare part or you had to swap the old panel. Uh, but it turns out that you can buy the relay on its own uh, and the customers decided to go ahead with it I've ordered the parts so let's have a quick look what we've got in the box that's yeah, all there genuine magnetron air guide relay let's get these fitted in and that's the three parts we're going to be fitting all this failure it just caused by a simple relay the contacts welding together well there we go let's get these in come back to it in a minute right so we take a look at that you can see what's happened there's a big crack in the magnet there uh, the, the uh, magnetron has expanded so much it's cracked that magnet just about see it on the camera there yeah you can see it now and uh, that's the the old air guy that's melted and that's the new one 
Right, so that's them two bits in. Just got to change now the power relay. Right, so this is interesting. Look at that. That's the relay that's shorted. Look how small that is to the uh, replacement relay. That's a lot, lot smaller. Uh, than the one they've sent so obviously um, what can I say underrated that's the only thing uh, or it's because it's Chinese the other one supplied is Japanese yeah interesting and there you go just got to test it now do a pat test on it do a RF emissions test make sure it's not leaking and uh, that's the job done now um, as you can see, I quoted £125 to repair. Um, I didn't actually make a lot of money on it. In fact, I'll show you. Uh, the price of the parts came to £95.69. So that's about £30 for doing it, which is not a lot of money. But at the end of the day, you're far better off doing half a dozen dead simple jobs like this um, and making £30 on each one than trying to do a really difficult one that, that takes you all day that you might only get £100 for. So let's just give it uh, a quick blast now and then I'll do the tests after. Right, so well, there we go, ready to test it. I've had to plug it in this extension lead here um, because all these sockets on my bench are uh, fed from an isolation transformer and you don't want to be running a microwave with no earth. So uh, let's just get this cup in it. Right, there we go. Just give a magnetron a few seconds to warm up and have a look. So we've got current consumption 7.6 amps. That's good. That's working fine. Yeah, absolutely spot on that. All right, guys and girls on YouTube, many thanks for watching my channel. And I'll catch you in the next video then. Goodbye.